Oh my God. I said I had snow pants on, okay? So <clears throat> it didn't trickle down and get caught. It trickled down my snow pants and it fell down into my boot. Hello? I got the drop on your spot, everybody watch! Oh, what it do, Saucy Gang? It's your boy A S A U C I N A Saucy Man. You read the title, you saw the thumbnail. You know what we gonna be doing today, man. I'm telling the story time. Look, A. Hey, this is. This is not the first time that I, you know, shared a poop story. I, uh, I'm going to put one top right corner in the eye. I pooped on my mom's ex-boyfriend's porch. I, uh, for some reason, I guess when I was younger, I guess I, I don't know what it was, but I guess I was, like, I scared to, I guess, go to the bathroom. Like, it was, like, shameful. I, I don't know. I just often found myself pooping and peeing on myself a lot 10 years ago. I, I, look, man, I ain't gonna talk y'all heads off any longer. I got, like, two, three more poop stories that I can tell y'all. I just need this video to get to at least, like, 20 likes. So if you want to see that, get this video to 20 likes, and I got y'all. I got, like, two, three more that I can tell. This is all real. I would not make a whole video if it was fake. This is all real. Leave a like, subscribe, click the bell so you don't miss no videos from me. Let's get into it. Alright, Saucy Gang, so look, this is how I went down, man. I say about 10, 11 years ago, I was in the first grade, right? <clears throat> and this was at a school. This is when I lived up north, clearly, because y'all know I used to live up north or whatever until I moved down to Georgia. 10 years ago, it was around the winter time. Now, I do not know what month exactly, because I mean, it was 10 years ago. All I remember is I boo booed on myself in school. But I just know it was around the winter time. Why? Because I remember it was snow on the ground. Because I had boots on and snow pants on or whatever. But anyways, this is when I lived up in Milwaukee. I went to the school at High Mount. I lived right down the street from it. The reason why I exposed the school, not only do I not live up there anymore, but I don't go to the school. So, I mean, hey, oh well. It was High Mount, right? I was about like six, seven, depending on... Yeah, I was probably like six, turning seven. Yeah, around, yeah. I was seven, I was seven. So look, so I don't know if they have this, where whoever, if you're watching this video, I don't know if they had this when you were in elementary and middle school, but there's this program called Aftercare. First, let me explain to y'all what Aftercare is. Aftercare is this after school program that they have for kids whose parents can't pick them up right away after school lets out. So I think it's from like the end of, I, I honestly don't remember when school let out when I was in elementary, but let's just say like three. So let's say school lets out at three. The program is from like 310 all the way to like eight something. And then like your parents pick you up from there. So my mom didn't get off around the time that school let out. So I had to, you know, go to that program. She signed me up, I went. Now. There were four aftercare teachers. One was Miss Wilson and the other was Miss Ashley. I don't know the other two. They weren't really important, but those were like the head of the after. They were like the management of the whole program or whatever. So, you know, we always had to speak to them or whatever. We had a problem or something. So Miss Ashley, I knew the most. Now, remember how I said it's the winter time. So, you know, I had snow boots on. I had snow pants on, and if you from up north, or if you just know what snow pants are, you know them snow pants is thick, all right? And you gotta tuck them down in your boots. Not only that, my mom bought me all black snow pants, all black boots with an all black coat, trying to keep me warm. But I was inside in a building with all black on, hot, sweating, can't breathe. So, you know, let's, you know, get to the best part. So, look. I'm playing around with my friend. No, look, look, hold on, hold on, <laughs> hold on. I'm gonna have another video in the eye, all right? Last year, 2017, I told a story time of how I got into an altercation with another kid. I pushed him down the stairs. 
that school that I pushed that kid down the stairs, that's this school right here, okay? Just I'm just trying to let I'm just trying to anyways, let's get let's get back to the story. So, like I said, I was playing around with my friends. We was in a gym. There are two there were two gyms in that school at the time that I went there. It was a small gym and it was a big gym. Aftercare was in the small gym. So we playing around, everybody in the program doing their own thing, board games, tag, uh, sitting down talking about crayons and whatever we talked about 10 years ago, if you my age. You know what I'm saying? Just playing around. Me and my friends, we playing tag, you know, chilling. And this is kind of just like the ex-boyfriend's poop story that I told. You know what I'm saying? I just, I feel, I feel, I feel it in my stomach. But I don't go to the bathroom and like try to handle it. Like I don't know what was wrong with me when I was younger. Like if I didn't want to boo boo because I was having too much fun. I don't know what it is of why I used to do that. Don't do it now. I don't know why I did it then. It's just it's embarrassing. So you know we was playing around, playing tag, running around. I slow down because like I feel this like feeling in my stomach. But I don't show it to like everybody in there. You know if you, if you look at me you wanna know. But, like, I feel it. I'm like, okay, oh, snap. I got to go to the bathroom. You know what I'm saying? So my friend run up, tag me. I got to go to the bathroom. No, no. Like, he like he said, like, I got to go to the bathroom. I, Because, like, when you a kid, first grade, you're supposed to call timeout. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what the rules are when you're younger and you're playing the game. Time, timeout, you know, stuff like that. Let me take a break or whatever. I didn't do that. I just slowed down. So, I mean, that was probably bad on my part. But I made it seem like, oh, I got tagged. I don't know. I, I got to go to the bathroom. No, it wasn't even like that. I really had to go to the bathroom. Like, I wasn't boosting or nothing. So he tagged me. He said, no, nah, you can't. Like, you, you pretty much explained it to me. You can't say, no, nah, you got to go to the bathroom. Now nah, you should have been with him or whatever. And then, you know, they can all convinced me to just be it and tag the person and then go to the bathroom or whatever. So, you know, I'm like, all right, cool. So, you know, we plan, we plan, we plan. I'm still feeling the feeling that I got a boo-boo, all right? Still didn't act on it. Still didn't go ask the aftercare teacher that I needed to go. I'm just playing the game. And then it works its way down from my stomach to my butt. Pause. No gayness. Pause. I don't want to hear none of that. It works its way down, all right? So now I feel it. And you know how when you got a boo-boo and you feel that it's right there, and you you like okay we're well, like maybe let me get to the bathroom let me let me get up let me I gotta go you know what I'm saying and then you trying to you know make your way to the bathroom without you know an accident happening or whatever so you know I feel that happening so you like so so I'm like maybe you know I should probably go tell a teacher you know what I'm saying so I walk over to Miss Ashley but I'm like I'm kind of like scooting over there because it's right there so I'm trying to. I can't regularly just walk across the gym, you know, I gotta kinda <laughs> penguin my way over there, you know what I'm saying? So it don't slip out or whatever, even though it did. I'm like, Miss Ashley, can I go to the bathroom? She like, yeah. So you know, I'm kinda walking my way out. I look weird, like you can tell something is wrong with me. I don't, I honestly don't think anybody knowed or even cared. I, like nobody was paying attention to me. Like this school went from <clears throat> elementary all the way to eighth grade. So it was eighth graders in there too. Remember, I'm in elementary, so you know I, I'm guessing nobody really cared. So I'm just scooting my way over. And then, disclaimer, because this is about to get extremely gross, okay? So if you eating and you watching this, that's your fault, all right? That's all I got to say. Don't click off now, it's too late. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry. Are you already here? I'm so sorry. You can't get out. You're stuck. It's over. Anyways, I'm sorry. <clears throat> so, I get close to the gym doors. I get so close, okay? And then out of nowhere, it slips out. Yes, a ball. A ball of poop fell okay and not only did it it didn't stay in my underwear all right i know i know i told y'all i told y'all you clicked on this at your own risk okay just listen just listen it's, it's all right we all just listen when it when it fell out it didn't stay in my underwear for some reason it slipped out 
and down my right pants leg, all right? And remember, I said I had snow pants on, okay? So <clears throat> it didn't trickle down and get caught. It trickled down my snow pants and it fell down into my boot. Ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Yes, just, just let that sink in. It, it, it trickled down my pants and fell down into my boot. Cause you know, you gotta tuck the snow pants in your boot. So you don't get no snow in your ankles and your, and your, and your, your feet and then it's, it's cold. Anyways, <clears throat> so it's in my boot. And remember, like I said, my mom bought me all black snow pants and all black boots. The whole black snow outfit, okay? Black coat, black snow pants, black boots. So not only am I in a hot gym wearing black and I am African American, my skin color, we generate heat with booboo, hot, already steamy, smelly, in my socks, my sweaty, moist boot. So you know what I'm saying? Eventually, what you think gonna happen? The poop gonna start melting in my shoe. When I was younger, I wore white socks, okay? So, poop is brown, socks are white, I'm wearing black, it's gonna start melting, okay? So, you know, after that happened and it landed in my boot, I know it landed in my boot. I, I was aware. I was more than aware. You know, so me being a little kid, I'm thinking, well, okay, I used the bathroom. Let me go back to playing tag. You know what I'm saying? Just being stupid. Like, I don't know what was my problem. But I just, I don't got to go no more. Let me go back to playing. I ain't wipe my butt. I ain't nothing. So, you know what I'm saying? We, like I said, there's two gym rooms. One big one, one small one. We was in a small one. So, you know, we running around playing tag. We running from corner A to B to C to D. You know, just running around the gym room and it's small, okay? There aren't any windows, none. No windows at all, okay? It's just a room, lights, walls, and like four exits. So, man, this is crazy. You know what I'm saying? The poop starts, you know, seeping out of my boot because it's, it's melting while I'm running around and moist. My, my, it's just moist in the air. And it's just, because we in the gym, you, you, y'all get what I'm saying. Like, it's just, it's just a whole, it's just, <clears throat> man, it went from bad to worse. So we running around, right? The smell starts seeping out of my boot, okay? I smell it. I'm not saying anything to anybody. I don't want anybody to know, which I was, I, I didn't really have it all, I guess, obviously, if I didn't go fix the situation or do nothing about it. So then at this point, I'm running around and I feel smushing on under my sock, okay? Not only it, is it sweat, but it's also poop that I'm stepping in. I'm stepping in my own feces. It is really disgusting. I, I did not have fun. Did not feel good, okay? So then the aftercare teachers blow the whistle. <sighs> blow the whistle. Everybody come here, gather up. Pretty much they blew the whistle, told us gather up because there was a smell in the gym room. They said it smelled like boo-boo, obviously. Come on now, how stupid could y'all be? It smelled like boo-boo because, I mean, I boo-booed on myself. Somebody, they don't know who, but somebody did, and everybody knows but nobody knows, okay? So they tell us to get in line, all right? And then they start giving us this lecture on how, I honestly don't even remember, but I know we was just getting a long lecture, standing in line, and why I remember, because I was sweating bullets, because not only was I just running around in hot clothes, but I just on myself in school, in front of everybody, a first grader, new to school pretty much, I don't want anybody to think no differently of me, weird, talk about me, this and that, because like I said, I was not really a good kid. I got kicked out of school for fights and just altercations that I used to have, so somebody would have talked about me or anything. My mom, like in my, my uh, altercation with the dude, I talked about my mom. I fought him, I get kicked out of school. Just It's just stupid stuff, so I didn't want nobody to talk about me. I was trying to be cool, I was new. You know, so we standing in line, and then Miss Ashley was like, 
yeah, we should go to the gym now because I'm starting to smell it. And then everybody started laughing, you know me. <laughs> I started laughing too, you know what I'm saying? Just trying to, like, make it seem like it wasn't me or whatever. So, you know, I, to be honest, I really don't know what happened after that. After we left the gym, that's that's all I can remember. Okay, I'm, I'm trying to think more into it, but, like, I really can't. Like, all I remember is just that moment when we was just playing tag and I boo-booed and everybody smelt it and they it was just it was a terrible moment I don't really remember what happened after that but I mean I was six my mom was doing my laundry so <clears throat> I think what I do remember is she did throw those boots out she did throw those socks out and she did throw the snow pants out why she threw the uh, snow pants out I really don't know but I know why she threw the boot out because I mean how would you get that out of there it, it melted in, into my boot. The smell. Oh my God, that is, what is wrong with me? Look, man, that's that's pretty much the end of this story. Uh, Like I said, I honestly don't really remember what happened after we left the gym or whatever. Uh, what I do remember though is my mom do half my clothes out that I boo-booed in, even though it was a little drop, little, a little boo-boo. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to get that that graphic. But uh, yeah, like I said, get this video to 15 or 20 likes. If y'all want to hear more poo stories, I got two, three more that I could tell. I also peed. The same thing that happened with the boo-boo story that I just told y'all just now, that happened with pee. Okay, I peed in some slip-on shoes. They were some black slip-ons. And they had a guitar and fire at the front of them. And I peed in them. And, and, and pee filled up and flooded my shit. I'm not going to say anything else, all right? If y'all want to see those videos, get this to 15 to 20 likes, all right? I ain't going to talk y'all hands off any longer. Subscribe. Leave a like. Don't think of me any differently. I don't do that stuff now. I am a man. Subscribe. Click the bell. Peace out, Saucy Gang. <laughs> I like, I like.